Hey everyone, I'm Around the Wheel, and you're watching Pokemon Red Blue Rando, and we're going to try to squeeze one in here while the while the plumber is out. We're getting a new tub put in. Hooray, new sexy tub. So, I think last time we had finished off floor six. So we're going to try to finish off the Sylph Company today. We've already had quite a pretty good item haul in here. As that sort of thing, hey, you are just, you're just waiting right there, aren't you? You are waiting for anyone to come off that elevator. He was like, seventh floor. I'm staking it out. Here comes another chief. I think he said he was one of the four brothers, but not entirely certain of that. I think I can get through rock with steel. Can I not? Or is it the other way around? Ah, ha, ha. I remember correctly. My brain is working pretty well today. I should hope so. I got about 10 hours of sleep last night, so maybe that will, uh, maybe that will help me out significantly. Mawile is helping me out significantly, as usual. This is the one that paralyzes, right? Maybe. I keep thinking maybe it does, but... I haven't gotten paralyzed by it yet, to my knowledge. And Jolteon goes down like a sack of electric rocks. And another chief is defeated. So many chiefs. Brothers, I lost. Are you, uh, like radioing into your brothers? Hey, here's another one. He's just waiting by the bar. Oh, oh, oh I smell a little rat. Well, then maybe you should call an exterminator, because it sounds like you have an infestation problem. Looks like you have a uh, getting your butt kicked by my Mawile problem. That's that's okay, though. Don't feel bad. Everybody has that problem. Here we go, Meganium. At a level it should not be at. Probably in a fight it should not be in. Lots of things that that Mawile, or that Meganium, shouldn't be doing. That it is. It's really in a bit of a spot, I do think. Yeah, we'll change over. We'll let Foratress handle this. Boy, uh, Mawile is just way out ahead of the pack there. I'm probably very negatively impacting a lot of my other Pokemon. Go underground, Foratress. Don't get tackled. Do some digging. Dig up some dirt on Nidoking. Very good. That ought to be some great experience. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, about to use Zygarde, so yeah, we'll let Regice do that, of course. I think even in its... I forgot how hurt Regice was, but even in its state, it ought to be able to do it. There we go. That's four times super effective, if I remember correctly. Ground and Dragon, both weak against Ice. About to use Florche. So yeah, we'll change over. We'll let Scolipede do it up. Probably should move Mawile out of that front slot for now, but I don't know. I just kind of like having a big giant... Like, even a super effective hit probably wouldn't do too much at this point. <clears throat> Mawile has emerged as the MVP of the team. In short order. Alright. Achieved defeat. Lots of good experience. I think every single Pokemon offered a really... A really wide experience. You won't find my boss by just scurrying around. Ha ha ha. I beg to differ, good sir. Hey, you. What's up? All right. The card key opened the door and revealed a lovely lady. It's really dangerous here. You came to save me? You can't. Ah, I appreciate you trying to beg off the heroics, but... What was that? I was not paying attention. I was trying to be a hero. It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Silver. Well, I got bad news for you, dude. I think that's exactly what has happened here. Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon. Uh, too bad. I already found it in the candy drawer. Uh, that's where you should always check first. It's always in the last place you expect. Bingo. The card key opened the door. I don't think there's much point checking for points here. Here's where I came earlier. A Leaf Stone. All right. Yeah, I think I used this teleporter earlier, but now I can just brute force my way into this fight. A child intruder? That must be you! Well, you're a little smarter than some of your other comrades. I appreciate how intelligent you are. Chief sent out Heatran. Heatran has... Uh-oh. Heatran has the move Uh-oh. So if I don't kill it in one hit, I think Bulldoze might help. We'll see. Okay, if this doesn't kill in one hit, I could get explosion. I think that's the first Heatran I've been able to knock out. Chief is about to use Spiro. Yeah, that's a far cry from a Heatran, I think. Ah, you got that mean face on Spiro, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to very adorably nuzzle you to death. There we go. Three quarters of its life. You better believe that's a paralysis. 
Oh, it's going to try to paralyze me too. And it did paralyze me. It did that very effectively. We're just going to cut you. You're cut too, shushy. All right. There we go. The chief is defeated. Fortress is paralyzed, but that's okay. We have we have things for that now. Uh, we have full heals. I had ten, but me finding one on the ground made that. There we go. Fortress's health returned. It is no longer paralyzed. Fortress received polio vaccine. Let's go around this really narrow hallway here. Very claustrophobic. But that's okay. I'm a skinny kid. I can fit through it just fine. Anything in the plants here? Uh, nothing. I speak for the plants. Oh, hey there. Hey there, butt. I can see your butt. Alright. Uh, oh, what is TM46, by the way? I was about to sneak up on this dude, but it would be fun to see what his TM is. It's Fury Swipes. Absolutely not. Hey, you. <laughs> you mistook me for a silk worker? What a dumb kid. Lesson, as always, evil will triumph because kids are dumb. Giovanni sent out Parigon. Let's see. Let's send in somebody with actual fighting move experience. Aww. Porygon got stabbed from Tackle, which somehow makes that even sadder. You're going down, you weird boxy-looking duck thing. Ah, so close. So close. I really do need a better fighting move on a more ably equipped person, probably. It's nice to be able to super effective those normal types, but it hardly ever works out the way you think it's gonna. No. We're going to surf that Pantsir to death. What? Overkill? I don't know what that means. Bye-bye, Pantsir. I seared your pan nice and good. Alright. 391 experience points. Very good. I'm done! I'm done. I think you are far from done, Giovanni. I think you'll keep fighting me and giving me ridiculous experience as long as I... As long as I keep coming at you. Alright, up to, I think that's everybody here, so let's go up to floor, floor 8, Silfco the Ocho. Let's wait for the rumble of the elevator to give us the gassies, and then, oh yeah, the beds, we can rest here, alright. This is as far as you go! <laughs> Zatu comes out, singing its little birdie opera. Do I have anything for Zatu? I don't. So, let's see. Fortress. At this point, Fortress can pretty effectively nuzzle anything. So, anything with flying, I'm going to try to give over to Fortress. Might be able to take this, because it's an evolved form. Eh, still pretty good. I'm going to let it do its thing. Oh, not so much. That is some poor luck right there, buddy. Boy, Zatu does not have the skills that pay the bills. You're getting cut, you're getting cut, everybody's getting cut. I'm gonna cut all of yous. Chief is about to use Conkledur. That's a fighting type, so... Yes, we're gonna let Clawitzer do it. Just because Mawile is so way ahead in levels. That's a valiant try on that Conkledur sprite. Doesn't mean it's not ugly as sin, but it is a valiant effort. There we go. One hit down, and good experience for Clawitzer. Chief is about to use Chimchar. No. We're going to overdo it on another unevolved form. Why would you keep your Chimchar at level 26? You could have a level 26 Infernate, probably, if you looked hard enough. There we go. Chief is about to use Clay Fairy. Yes, we will do Scolipede. Scolipede is going to sludge it up. Well, looks like this is not going to be as far as I go. Looks like I'm going to go even farther. The sky is the limit for old round the wheel. Excellent. 628 experience. Better than I expected, actually. Not enough grit. Grit is a rural paper. It's how many uh, entrepreneurs got their start. If you don't turn back, I'll call for backup. Call for all the backup you want. It's not going to do you a doggone lick of good. Let's go around the way here. I don't want to talk to you just yet. Anything in this single solitary plant? Anything in this single solitary plant? Can I sleep in the bed? I thought there was a bed around here you could sleep in to recover. Not that I really need the recovery effort all that much. I just thought it would be fun to sleep in a bed for a minute. Ah, another, 
of the infamous Rocket Brothers. Perhaps even the last one. I haven't been keeping count. Chief wants to send out a Cotney. Looks like Chief wants to lose. Alright. Go to it, Metal Claw. Kabam. And there you have it. A puff of cotton. A dead, dead puff of cotton. Chief's about to use not to, yes, uh, not to brag or anything, but I think my nuzzle is going to do a pretty good job here. Perfect. All right. Still only about half its life. I was very surprised. Fake tears? What is fake tears? It failed. I don't know what it is. Is that like an infatuation move or something? Does it confuse me or... I don't even know. Whale Lord? Yeah, I think we want to change over for Whale Lord. Razor Leaf has historically done it in one hit, so why mess with success? Razor Leaf that Whale Lord into oblivion. We're having blubber for dinner. That's disgusting. Alright, critical hit as usual. I can't think of many times Razor Leaf hasn't given me a critical hit. Woo! Oh, brothers! Oh, brothers, where art thou? Okay, anything in this plant over here? Surely, surely, dang it. I think I found the one plant that's going to really, it's really going to light my fire here. Okay, you're a bad dude. I'm going to go in here first and save these hostages. They don't deserve to be locked up in here like this. He's at the end of the conference table hiding. That's probably a good spot. I wonder if Sylph is finished. Well, their security team is at any rate. Uh-oh, I've been spotted. Oh, that's just too bad. You're causing us problems. You're causing you problems by not having the good Pokemon that... Okay. Carbink. I th uh, Will Metal Claw work here? Yes, it will. Seizing on that fairy type. There we go. Mawile got more experience. Giovanni is about to use Exploud. Yes, that means we'll move over to... Regice. Would do Clawitzer, but Mock Punch can't take out even the weakest of Pokemon in the best of times. Hopefully this doesn't have anything that'll do 45 damage points. I teleport. That would have been it right there. If that teleport had gone over, man, he would have gotten me in a teleporter malfunction and Regice, that would have been the end of that. Huh? I lost? Yep, you sure did. Join the club, buddy. Take a number. It's a long line. Because <laughs> me, I'm the champion. That's right. You don't go around messing with me. Alright. The 8th floor has been thoroughly... The trash has been taken out. So it's down to the ninth floor. I think we're going to go ahead and just finish off the floors today. And then probably go ahead and do the... Do the rival fight and the Giovanni fight. Or the Lorelei fight as the case may be next time. Uh, looks like we're already racking up quite a good... Wait, hold on. Could I have just gone around? Huh. Weird. Anything in these plants over here? Those would be great plants to hide something in. Just saying, if you're, if you're looking for someone, uh, with a lot of plant hiding expertise, I'm your guy. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. We'll see about that. Although people generally who say things like that actually tend to be kind of right. So, uh, I don't know that a clam pearl is nailing anything. Except looking like a baby. Uh, grant, no. Let's just punch in the face. I'm fine with that. That almost worked. I don't think defense curl. You can curl up into a ball all you want. I don't think it's going to protect you anymore. Mawile is at level 45 now, about to use Dublod, so yes, we'll change over. I really like letting Fortress do the job, although it is crawling in terms of experience, because typically it keeps taking on babies. But we're going to lick this blade. That's a good That's a good way to show that we are uh, psychotic, by licking the blade. Critical hit, my defense fell. I don't like that one bit. I think I'm just going to have to lick you again. Fortress used Wet Willy. It's super effective. Alright, Giovanni is about to use Pharaoh Seed. Let's see. Uh, yes, we're going to let... Donphan hasn't come out yet today. We're going to let him take out this little spiky egg thing. Here we go. Fire Punch. 
Usually I bring out Dawn Fan for the fire. That seems to be its role. There we go. And Giovanni was defeated once more. Another fat wad goes into my pocket. You hammered me. Yeah, well, uh, might want to work on your phrasing there, but that's okay. I can get in through here once I uh, fight this guy. Oh, he was the, that's probably the last Rocket Brother. I think, I think that might be the fourth one now. And I don't think he's going to have any more success than his brethren did. Ghost typing. So we want to hit him with... Who's the other one with a ghost move? Lick. Who else has... Is it Scolipede that has a ghost move? I have forgotten because I've been letting... Uh-oh. Haunter is outraged. He will not stand for this. Although he did hit pretty hard. No, I replaced my ghost move on... You know what? We'll go ahead and pin missile. Oh, that is not very effective at all. Well, hope it hits five times because... Okay, it hit three times. Uh-oh. Thrashing. Hitting even harder. This is bad. How about a dual chop? I don't think dual chop is going to get the... Oh, whew. Did get the job all the way done. Who else do I have with a poison type move? Or not poison. Ghost. Maybe it's Dawn Fan. Chief is about to use Whalmer. Yes. Uh, since that's a Whalmer, we'll let Fortress handle it. We'll let Big Brain Boy get it done. Okay. Nuzzle that Whalmer. That is such a goofy looking grin. Yeah, I figured Whalmer might take that pretty well. But it's not going to enjoy this. Death by a thousand cuts. Or, you know, two. That was some good paralyzing right there. Mm, mm, mm. Finger licking good. About to use Loudred. Yes, we'll change over to Reg Ice. Maybe this Loudred will try to teleport away as well. Let's see if that's exactly what happens. Mock Punch. It's called Mock Punch because I punch you and then I make fun of you for getting hit by it. Okay, Shadow Sneak. I'm not too worried about that. Not really too worried about anything this Loudred could throw at me because I'm going to get it with my priority move. All right, good job, Reg Ice. And the fourth Rocket Brother goes down. Warg! <laughs> I think I would make the Warg sound if I fell down so shamefully, too. Anything here? I think these are the beds I can sleep. Yes! I can recover right here. I think I'll do that. Hooray! Everybody is healed. Anybody around the way that needs taken care of? Okay, I think this is where I went earlier. Yeah, I think this is where I thought there was going to be a rival fight earlier. I could be wrong, but I think if I take that teleporter, it'll take me back to the third floor. So I think maybe I may have gotten mixed up about where to fight, but... Vaporeon came out. Well, that's no good, because Mawile has nothing for that, except an extreme level advantage, which I think I'm going to take on here. I was going to say, I don't think that's going to do much. But it's good to know there's another Ice move out there. Maybe more power... Is Ice Punch more powerful than Aurora Beam? It could be. Then again, it could not be. About to use Carbink. E no. We'll go ahead and... Uh, we'll go ahead and let Mawile do this one too. I think Poison might work, seeing as... Seeing as uh, Metal Claw plays on the Fairy typing there. But I'm just not sure. About to use Cricketot. Yeah, we'll let Clawitzer handle that one. With its, uh... With its big air slash. I know I like to wear a pair of air slashes. It's kind of a status symbol. There we go. That is not much experience at all. Yee, Ikes. Gah! Okay, yeah, I kind of agree. Gah. Well, so will this take me to the third floor? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on the third floor here. Yes, this is definitely 4-3. I've fought these people before, so that is not the teleporter I thought I'd have to make a mental note of. What I am making a mental note of is going to floor 10. Here we go. This floor, and I think I can take the 11th floor to the elevator. I think if I take the stairs to the 11th floor. Okay, yeah, I gotta find the teleporter. That gets me in there. There's one person to fight here, but I have to actually, I think, take the elevator. 
Do I have an appointment with the boss? I, uh, maybe? I have a standing appointment to kick her butt. Ooh, boy, this guy has a lot. I know I skipped the 10th floor, but I know there was only one person on the 11th. So I decided to just go with it. This is going to be good experience because this is a mythical. Here we go. Yeah. Doesn't look like much, but man, it is good tasting. All right. Yes, we'll let Reg Ice do it. Everybody is healed up because I took that nice little nap. Never underestimate the value of a good nappy poo. There we go. Razor Leaf it is. Everybody feels energized, ready to get the job done. Critical hit. Of, because, of course. There we go. Ah, that's a nice amount of experience. About to use Bibarel. No. Bibarel is ugly, but... And that means it should be dispatched of immediately. We don't allow uggos in this building, in this organization. Ah, I think that may be the first time Mock Punch killed somebody in one... Breloom, grass fighting, so yes, I'll let uh, I'll let Quawitzer do this one. Quawitzer is a couple levels behind, so out it comes to do air slash. Oh, that'll be four times effective because grass fighting. Very good. Didn't even think about that. My brain is playing chess while my eyeballs are playing checkers. Chief is about to use Polyrath, so that's water fighting. So I bet we could probably leave it in and do the same super effective. Not four times, obviously, but this is still going to hurt quite a bit. Excellent. Very good. Air Slash saves the day. God, demolished. So you'll let me in to see your boss now, huh? Which one of these fake panels is the door here? I don't know. We'll have to go exploring somewhere else. Enough of your silly games. No, enough of your silly games. We could go back and forth like this all day, Giovanni. And it seems like we have. Ooh, impressive. Uh, not going to be able to stand up to the strength of a good bulldozing, though. God, I love having Mawile out up front. I feel like I should change that, but I really don't see much reason to when she just takes care of the good stuff right out the gate. About to use Pikachu? Yeah, we'll let Fortress have the Pikachu. Consistent typing within an NPC. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. What's impressive is... Oh, whew, that would have sucked. Man, I really hate getting my accuracy lowered in Gen 1. It is such a horrible thing to have to deal with. But a great thing to deal with. <laughs> no continues left. No, no, you have, you have continued your last continue. What's in here? Uh, an item? A person? What do you want? Oh, hey, we've got another... Wah! I'm scared. Well, there's no man around to call you a coward. You should you should hook up with the uh, other chick who... Oh, I'm going to have to fight someone to get the goodies in this room, I think. Welcome to the 10th floor. So good of you to join. Ooh, very formal. I appreciate what you're bringing to the table here, Team Rocket Chief. I... <laughs> I don't get I don't get so nicely welcomed so often. Kingler, so Mawile, we're gonna want to send out Regice with its with its spectacular razor leaf abilities. I don't think that's gonna really stand up to muster. Yeah, not even What? How dare you? And you got a grass move of your own, which is not nearly as impressive. Well, guess what? I'll show you my grass move if you show me yours. There we go. Kingler fainted. And Mawile still got the level up somehow. Kind of... I'm kind of perversely impressed. Me too! Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was just thinking. But nice try, but the boardroom is up one more floor. No more room for items. Uh-oh, I gotta clear some stuff out. Is there anything I can just clear out right now? No, um, let's see, yeah, there are a few things I can just clear out right now, yeah, I'll throw away a leaf stone, I don't think there's anything I can really do with that anyhow, um, I think Aurora Beam sells for a decent amount of money, is this conversion, no, that's Crab Hammer, I might want to hang on to that one, which one's the one that's conversion, I'm not teaching conversion to anyone, so I'm just going to throw that away. Yes. And then, uh, 
What else? Uh, I don't need an antidote, especially when there's a nap time bed downstairs. No, nobody is... Come on, settle down, game. Alright, yes. Very good. We threw away an antidote. So what is on this floor for us to collect? TM31. TM31 is... Gotta scroll through a big honking list just to see what it is. It contained Outrage. That's a normal type move, but I don't have any normal types in my party. Plus, I don't like the whole losing control type of thing. Carbos, that'll sell for good money. And a bike voucher. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have a bicycle yet, so that might be nice. Uh, I think I've taken care of everybody there is to take care of, though, in the Co building. So next time, we're going to have to throw at least one of these items away because uh, Lorelai is going to give us something when when next we do. Should I go ahead and uh, go to the 11th floor? Let's see. I think if I go to the 11th floor, do I not have to use a teleporter to get to here? Or do I just have to have the card key? All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I have to use a teleporter. So next time, I'll find that teleporter. And then uh, we will finish this place off in earnest. See you guys next time.